Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Quest for Umrah. Quest for Umrah is a new quiz show bringing Islamic knowledge, team building skills, and brotherhood together. For all those who have seen the program, we have brought teams from around the world batting it out for this quest. And the reward of this quest is Umrah. The winning team will be sent to Umrah to the blessed lands of Mecca and Medina. We have today with us two teams. Team Cameroon, Salamu Alaikum. And Team Mauritania, Salamu Alaikum. Team Cameroon and Team Mauritania have got through by defeating their opponents in their last games. MashaAllah, Team Cameroon had 56 points in defeating Afghanistan. And Team Mauritania also had 56 points in defeating Indonesia. They are now facing head to head to see who will be further in this quest. Without further ado, let's meet our teams for a small introduction. Team Cameroon. How does it feel to be back? I feel better than ever. Better, better than ever. Yeah. Better. You did very well last time, alhamdulillah. Yeah. alhamdulillah. But there's probably new viewers who have not seen you before. So we'll have a small introduction again so they get to know you. Start with you, brother. My name is Elias. I'm from Cameroon. I'm 25 years old. I'm studying here in Al Azhar University in Faculty of Translation, Department of Islamic and French Language. Okay. I, in the future, want to be pressure for Islam to transmit Islamic knowledge all over the world. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. This is my aim. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And yourself, brother? My name is Shehu Osman. I'm in Cameroon too. I study in the same university. That means mean uh, translation too. My specialty is uh, letter and translation. I have to be, inshallah, uh, translator. Okay. To sure. translate uh, maybe more knowledge, uh, maybe more book about Islamic knowledge or something like that, hadith or something like that. And for the viewers who never got to see the episode, you were the captain in the last game. Yeah. Are you the captain again? I'm a captain. You're the captain. Yeah. So yeah. we hope you, you take your team all the way to the end. Inshallah. And lastly? Yes, my name is Ahmed Abu Bakr. I'm also from Cameroon. I was born in the northwest of Cameroon. Okay. And the division that I'm in northwest Cameroon is called Kokitunja Division. Okay. So I'm also studying in Azhar University. I'm preparing myself to be a future preacher, inshallah. Okay. Can you tell us a bit about Cameroon? Because last time we never got the chance to talk about your country. Cameroon is a country located in the Central Africa on the At Atlantic Ocean. Okay. I've Population about 18 million. 18 million. And it's about Muslim percentage is about 45 percent. Okay. The language we have two two official language. French is the first, and secondly is English. All right, yeah. Team Cameroon. Wish you all the best, and hopefully we we'll see how far you get today. Jazakallah yes. khair. Let's meet our second team, again, who defeated Indonesia in the last round. Team Mauritania. How are you? Fine. 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 Okay. How does it feel to be back for the second round? Inshallah. Okay. You did very well in your last game. Well, 56 mm. points by beating the opponents. Uh, again, there's viewers who've maybe not seen you before. So we have a small introduction. So in this game, they get to know you. My name is Mohamed Ul Gadar. I'm from Mauritania, from the capital, El Sal. I study medicine here, Cairo University. Okay. And I'd like to be a successful doctor, inshallah. Okay, in alhamdulillah. And next? I am uh, Mukhtar. Mukhtar, Mukhtar. I am uh, Mauritanian. I am here uh, uh, for studying medicine also uh, in uh, Alexandria University. Inshallah. Excellent. All the best. And you? Uh, my name is Hamahullah Ben Mohammed Mahmoud. I am from Mauritania. Yes. Uh, I study in Faculty of Law in Cairo University. Okay, excellent. Okay, again, we wish you all the best. It's yeah. going to be a hard round. You have good uh, people in front of you. Mm -hmm. And same on the other side. 
Let's start with our further ado, our new Group 2 series. You probably know the rules already, but we'll go through just in case for the new viewers as well. This section will have four topics. I will choose the first two topics, and the next half will have the next two topics. The four topics include Quran, Sirah, History, and Geography. I will give you four possible answers. One is the correct one. It's your chance to decide which one it is. You must do as quick as possible to attain the most amount of rewards. Okay. Our first topic I choose is history. Your first question. Cameroon on history. Yes. How did you do last time in history? Do you remember? Yes, you did well. Yes. Let's see if you can carry on with this. Your history question is, unlike slavery in the Americans, slavery in Africa was, number one, based on race, hereditary, non-hereditary, or a lifelong condition. Let's start the clock now, please. Information of your own country here. Number four. Number four, you say, a lifelong condition. Okay, let's check your answer. Is it the correct answer? Unfortunately, it's not. It's not a lifelong condition in Africa. Slavery was more non-hereditary. Okay. You didn't get anywhere there. It was not a good start, Cameroon. I understand you have Mauritania in front of you. Big players, big team, but you need to get the confidence together, all right? All no right. problem, we have plenty more chances. Mauritania, is this the time to take advantage of your next question? What language was successfully used as a code in World War II? Was it Navijo, Cherokee, Spartan, or English? Start the clock now, please. World War II, one of the great wars of the world. Number one. Number one, you say stop the clock. And why do you say this? Just uh, because, uh, we don't know, just uh, we, uh, You're guessing, chose it hey? by chance. By chance, yes. okay. Is there a reason why you never chose the others? Oh, uh, no, no, we don't okay. have a reason for it. But one sounds good to you. The answer is Navejo. Well done, Mauritania. Alhamdulillah, three points for Mauritania. Allah Akbar. Okay, Mauritania, very good. Let's go to our next question for Cameroon. History, let's have our question, please. Your question is, of which country was James I the king before becoming king of England? Was it Wales, Scotland, England or Ireland? Of which country was James I the king before becoming king of England? Start the clock now, please. Wait, wait, wait. Number one. You say number one, Wales. The correct answer is Scotland. No worries. Cameroon, no worries. We still have questions. Keep yourself focused, okay? Next question for Mauritania. History. Okay, your question is, one main cause for weakness of the Spanish economy was war, defeat of the Spanish, severe inflation, or a king's lavish spending. Start the clock now, please. The weakness of Spain, was it because of the wars they had? The defeat, inflation. Number four. You say number four. Stop the clock and let's have a look. The answer is number three. They had severe inflation in their economy. This caused them to go down. Okay, let's go back to you. Cameroon, this is your chance. This is the chance you've been waiting for. Let's see if we can make use. Simon Bolivar was a hero of the American Revolution, Spanish Civil War, South American War, or the era of exploration. Start the timer now, please. 
well-known person, three. Simon Bolivar. Number three. You say number three. The answer is number three. Well done. You see three points. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Okay, Muratanya. Stay focused. Come on. All right, your question is in history, the major result of the Peloponnesian Wars was Athens' loss of power, Julius Caesar's fall, the rise of Islam, or the Ottoman Empire. So the wars called the Peloponnesian, what was the cause? Start the timer, please. Number two. Number two. Stop the time. Are you sure? Okay. We will check. Number two. Was it number two? The right answer is number one. It was the loss of power from the great community of Athens. Britannia, it's not over yet. Okay. We still have chance. Viewers, you will have to follow us after the break. Until then, stay with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the second part of Quest for Umrah. For those viewers who are watching the first part, we are Team Cameroon and Team Mauritania. Okay, our next segment now, we will go to Quran. Are you happy with this? Quran. How do you think you're going to do, Mauritania? Okay, your first question in Quran, Cameroon, is your question. Which companion of the Prophet ﷺ was mentioned in the Surah Al-Ahzab? Was it Zayd bin Harith, Musa bin Umair, Al-Muthanna, Abdullah ibn Rabi? Start the time, please. So the companion which was actually mentioned. Number one. Said, you stop the clock. What is your answer? Number one. You say number one. Zaid ibn Haritha. Let's check. Is that the right answer? It is the right answer. Three points for you. Allah work for your back on track. Do you... Okay, Muratanya. Let's have your question on Quran. What is the surah in which a verse is repeated ten times? Is it Al-Mulk, Al-Mursilat, Al-Rahman, or Zariyat? Start the timer now, please. You say number two, Al-Mursilat. A verse which is repeated ten times in this. Let's check the answer. It is Al-Mursilat. Allah Do you know what verse this is? Yes, it is al mursalati عفواً al-asibati عفواً. Wailun yawm idhin lil mukadibin. The verse is Wailul yawm idhin Wailun yawm idhin mukadibin. Okay, and it comes ten times. Yes. Okay. What is the meaning of this verse? So we know about it. Why it comes so many times? People who do do not believe in the after death life. Okay. They God promised him with punishment. Okay. So repeat it ten times. Put the emphasis on there. Allah Akbar. Okay. Well done. Let's have a look at the points quickly. So we know we're on six six at the moment. All right. Come on. We need to do a bit better. We need to get the points up high. You ended with fifty six last time. So that's very good. Right. Question for Cameroon on Quran is. What are the two surahs that are recommended to be recited in the Sunnah prayers of Fajr? Is it Al-Kafirun and Al-Ahad? Is it Al-A'la, Al-Ghashiyah? Is it Al-Buruj, Al-Tariq? Or is it Al-Falaq and Al-Nas? Start the timer now, please. Number one. You say number one. Let's check your answer. It is, that's right. That's the right answer, alhamdulillah. Three points for you. Mashallah, Cameroon. You're doing very well. Muratanya, let's have your question. Okay. We'll make this the last question of the Quran series. And it is, which surah made mention of Gog and Magog? 
النور البقرة الكهف والفلق start the timer now please الكهف number three الكهف you say number three الكهف okay let's check the answer the right answer is it is الكهف well done you get three points الله أكبر very well excellent excellent let's review the scores shall we Cameroon, your score at the moment, nine points, doing very well. Mauritania, how do you think you're doing? Well, your score is nine points as well. So alhamdulillah, both teams are neck on neck. This just adds the pressure. But this can all change now. Cameroon, you can make the difference. Mauritania, you too can make the difference. Because now we are going to go into who is he. Who is he is a question that I will give to you. I will give you a description of a person, a very important person in Islamic times. You have to listen to all the points I give. And your job is to write out who this person is. For the one who gets it right, you will be able to walk away with five points. So it's a big bonus. You don't want to mess this up. How did you do last time in Who Is He Cameroon? You did well last time? Alhamdulillah. Mauritania, did you do? Yes. So you got good. I think you'll be good again. Okay, now listen carefully. This is the person. He was born 32 years before the Hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was the chieftain of Al Aws and their flag bearer in the Battle of Badr. He converted to Islam at the hand of the ambassador of Islam, Musab ibn Umair. Amen. Having converted to Islam, he said to his tribe, It is forbidden for me to speak to any of you male or female, until you convert to Islam. And this was a cause for his whole tribe to convert to Islam. This way, he was one of the most blessed ones in Islam. So think about this. I'm going to give you the points again. He was born 32 years before Hijrah. That's an important point. He was a chieftain in Al Aws and a flag bearer. He was converted to Islam by Musab ibn Umair. Cameroon, do we have ideas coming? How confident do you feel, Cameroon? Yeah. Okay. Mauritania, do we have confidence? Do we feel good? Do you want the five points? Would you like the five points, Cameroon? Yes. How much would you like it? 100%. 100%? Yeah. Yes. And you? 90%. 90? Yes. Okay. We need Allah more and more. Allah Akbar. I see both answers. Now, Team Cameroon, you said that this person is Saad bin Muad. Team Mauritania. You said this person is Saad bin Muad. The correct answer I can reveal now for five points each. If you got this right, for zero points, if you got this wrong, is Saad bin Muad. Yes, you're correct, both of you. You get five points each. Allah Very well. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Okay, let's have a look at the scores now. We are now still draw. Cameroon on 14, yes. Mauritania on 14. So you're moving up now. You needed these five points. Yes. And it's done well. Okay? Are you happy with yourself? Yes. Alhamdulillah. How are you happy with yourself? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Could you be doing better? Yes. Inshallah. Yeah? Inshallah. How about you guys? Inshallah. Okay. All right. What we'll do now, we'll go on to another two topics. All right? 
Our first topic would be geography. You're smiling, Ilyas. Yes. No. You like geography? Yes. Good. All right. Our first question goes to you then. Your question in geography is, which European country left the Commonwealth and declared itself a republic in 1949? Was it Northern Ireland, Greenland, Iceland, or Ireland? Let's start the clock now, please. Number four. You say number four. Let's check the answer. It is Ireland. Well done. That's an extra three points for you. Ireland was a country that left the Commonwealth and declared itself Republic in 1949. How are you with geography? Your question for geography will be, Mauritania. Which river is located in Calcutta? Is it Adyar, Qom, Sabarmati, Hooghly, or Godavari? Start the timer now, please. Uh, Think one. about this. For uh, sure, give me the answer. If you're not, talk about it. Uh, number Look one. At, which is the one you're saying? Number one. Number one, Adyar. Let's check the answer, please. Unfortunately, Monotania is not the right answer. The river located in Calcutta is actually Hooghly. The river Hooghly. Okay. okay. But no worries. Oh, no, you did okay. well in your who is he. You've done well so far. Let's review the scores quickly. Okay, Cameroon. Mm. Big smiles. You're on 17. Mauritania. We need to work hard. We're on 14. Okay? So still, we'll have some support for both teams. It's very hard. I know. But the pressure's on you. You know that the quest is not going to be easy. The reward is very big as well. So it has to be a bit hard. We will put you in suspense. Viewers, you will have to follow us. Until then, stay with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sit with his care and blessing we 